Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm I'm back with a new video. Uh, this is an unboxing video. I have just received a parcel. This is regarding amateur radio operation. Uh, I had ordered few items from Daraz online and uh, from China, and it just got delivered. And I have just uh, received it. Today is what? Today is 22nd November, and then I have received this package from Daraz. Here it is. Uh, looks pretty neat. Now I am going to unbox this and I will show you what's inside. Okay, so this is what was inside. Uh, this box was inside that package and finally I am able to remove the packaging and let's see what's written on the box. Switching mode power supply and there are some uh, specifications for European Union something, something, something. Switching mode power supply and here is a design. This is the box and uh, QZE. So this is the company QZE, switching power supply. And this is the model number, power supply 30, short wave 567, SWVII, uh, SWVII, I think SW stands for short wave. And it shows here voltage rating, the input voltage rating is uh, AC 220 volt and 50 hertz is the frequency cycle and output voltage is DC 5 to 15 volt. So this is a switch mode power supply and if the voltage is stable, uh, I can control the voltage from 5 volt to 15 volts and output current rating is uh, DC 30 ampere this is the maximum amperage rating and there are some other specifications and uh, this is the box and I am going to open and see and show you what's inside the box okay so looks like they have packed very nicely and uh, it's it's safely secured so it came from China, so it has to be packed very nicely. Uh, so the first thing that I can get out is a uh, power cord. So this is a three pin power cord and a two pin uh, in input cord. Here is the power supply itself. I cannot see the power supply yet. It's so nicely packed. It, it is very safe very safe and there is a manual okay so this is the best thing uh, they have given me a manual uh, this will come this will come in handy uh, before opening or before operating any electrical equipments uh, electronic or electrical e equipment it is advisable to go through the instruction manuals to familiarize yourself with what is going on with the product isn't it so let me uh, get this removed and I'll show you what's inside okay so let me remove this power supply from this packaging so there it is ladies and gentlemen the power supply is finally in my hand it's very small but it weights a lot it's heavy uh, compared to the size so this is the front face 13.8 voltage and adjustable QZE uh, this is the regist registered mark voltage uh, the casing looks pretty solid looks like some uh, some kind of metal and there there are uh, two Anderson power poles this is uh, how it looks in the back so there are two different poles uh, and there is input AC input there is a fan so this is the QZE power supply together with a power cord and a user manual. 
okay like you can see i have connected the radio with the power supply the power supply is working properly working just fine hopefully everything will work normally i'm not sure this is the first time that i have turned it on and like you can see here 13.8 volts it's it's displaying on the lcd and while the radio is on receive only mode uh, it's drawing about 1.6 ampere of current 9 november 2 whiskey fox trot Raja Raja, thank you for the 4545. Uh, you are about 54, 5454. Over. Okay, cool, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. So, right now I'm measuring uh, the voltage of power supply as it is shown in the power supply. It is the voltage in the power supply is 13.8 and if you see a uh, double multimeter multimeter is showing voltage of 13.85 to 86 the lowest voltage so far is 13.84 and the highest is 13.86 so this was the unboxing and first first time review of uh, QZE PS30 SW VII switching power supply that I bought from China I hope you like this video guys uh, if you have any comments regarding this power supply uh, feel free to post a comment below and I'll try to respond momentarily and uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up that will help the channel and I'll try to come up more with uh, amateur radio related contents on the YouTube channel for now 73s and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.